we finally have some information about the great journey update that's coming for us on november 5th guys and it's looking real good i mean this might be one of the best updates we've ever had in halo infinite i'm not you know going crazy on this topic because the big thing that's coming with this update is a halo 2 specific playlist called delta arena which is going to bring back a lot of classic maps that you saw earlier right here looks a little familiar right well it's gonna be not just new maps right of the classic experience of playing halo 2 but in delta arena playlist there'll be no sprint no clamber increased jump height and friendly player collision along with the playlist modes of slayer oddball capture the flag and king the hill you know all the good ones so if you guys enjoy this kind of videos make sure to tap like and subscribe and let's get right into all of those details details as in what maps will be coming in for us to play in this halo 2 playlist well we have ascension one of the classic halo 2 maps which by the way like unique and his team basically made this update this forge community is insane like this ascension remake looks absolutely incredible i love the addition right here of like the art repeated archways that you saw like in behemoth right but then also on this map now they kind of had that little bit of that kind of artistic continuity like that a lot the visuals are just on point for this map dude it looks so freaking good straight out of halo 2 brought into halo infinite like that's what the visuals are and it's incredible same thing with here with boulevard which is a remake of turf again by unique and his team as well again another incredible remake like spot on authentic recreations of these maps again with classic settings right no sprint no clamber uh, increased jump height right we also have uh what was it called canopy which is a recreation of lockout much more true to the original lockout not like the lockout that we had for the halo 3 uh revised place which i actually really like the idea of having like a halo infinite version of what halo 3's place would be that's kind of what i was expecting with this i wasn't expecting them to go full classic but i'm all for it as well because this now this one i'm really excited about warlock one of my favorite maps because it's just total chaos but like it's called the conjurer and look at this map dude this looks like something straight out of destiny 2 like dev made destiny 2 quality map like this looks absolutely incredible i love the the details of like this the floating rocks and stuff like that on it looks absolutely amazing i cannot wait to jump in and play this and of course it wouldn't be halo 2 if you didn't have inquisitor the midship remake by, by uh, unique and his team as well now one thing about this map it does look a little bright but i think maybe just because this map is not only going to be in social but it's also coming in for ranked a little more on that later in the video here but yeah this one like again it's unique i've played on it's from unique so i know that this is going to be 100 accurate version of what uh midship is going to be like he literally goes into like the original maps plots out all the data points of where like the geometry is and then he ports that over the pc and then builds the map around and kind of traces almost so this is like not only a really well done recreation but it's going to be like accurate to what midship was in halo 2 like geometry wise which is crazy what he can pull off that him and his team can pull off and of course you have the classic map of sanctuary the maps in halo 2 were so freaking good and like in this one looks incredible uh i know there are, i've seen a few popular recreations of sanctuary in halo of his forge but this might just take the cake i think i've played on this one before as well and again it's sanctuary dude it's amazing it's gonna be fun it's one of the best maps of all time and of course you got beaver creek as well Unique's team is just slain, dude. Like, it's crazy. The quality of maps you can make in Forge is insane. And again, having this all true to the classic gameplay of Halo 2 is going to be absolutely amazing. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think they mentioned anything about what the starting weapons are going to be for this mode. Yeah, they just mentioned, like, no sprint, no clamber, increased jump height, and friendly player collision. So, apparently... You know, it's something that they deliberately turn off, which I actually kind of like the lack of player collision for Halo Infinite. But, you know, it just, it builds back in those classic feels. Now, I'm sure many of you remember this. This was revealed during the HCS Finals weekend. I was there at HCS. I still have a ton of content I need to edit up for you guys to show like how much fun it was because it was a blast being out there uh, in Seattle for this whole thing. And they revealed the third person mode coming into Halo Infinite. This will also be an option available in Forge. You do see a lot of just like basically Husky Raid being utilized for the third person mode. 
but it's actually going to be available in matchmaking for Halo Infinite as well. But it's going to be more of a social experience, even more social than what they're showing right here. Because it's coming in as third person firefight, which I mean, it's a decent way to start out the mode. I mean, again, like it has to be third person specific when it comes to each playlist. Cause you can't have people in third person or first person in a game like Halo. Third person would be incredibly unbalanced compared to everyone being stuck in first person. So it kind of makes sense. It's a good way to kind of start out with a matchmaking experience of being in third person. This is our first time actually, I think, ever having a third person mode in Halo. Like, yeah, you've had experiences of when you're jumping in with like a turret or something like that. Of course, jumping into a vehicle, you go into third person, but never just like gun to gun gameplay. So yeah, it's a nice little twist. I mean, personally, I don't find it crazy exciting. Uh, but you know, the options there, if you guys want to play it, uh, the options you have for playing third person firefighter are going to be Fiesta King of the Hill, just regular firefight King of the Hill, Grumpocalypse King of the Hill, as well as Grumpocalypse Fiesta King of the Hill. Now, the great thing about this is also going to have the difficulties of normal along with heroic and let with heroic and legendary coming in later after the launch of this mode. So, this is going to stick around for quite some time, it's not going away anytime soon. But check out the map pool that we have for this. Like, Ardent Pro Prior, Ardent Prayer, sorry, specifically, probably my most favorite Firefight map. It's like that progressive Firefight map that you go back through the level and stuff like that. Really great stuff. Uh, you also have some vanilla maps like Behemoth, Breaker, Cliffhanger, Court, and uh, what else? Like Fragmentation being thrown in there as well. But you also have some other Forge maps. You also have House of Reckon Reck Reckoning, obviously, being mixed in with the whole thing as well. So, there's a whole plethora of third person maps. So you basically can just play this mode and you probably would have very rare duplicates. If you did, it would be a crazy situation. Now on to the next section here, guys. We got to talk about ranked. Ranked update is coming in for us, which is going to be awesome because we're actually getting new maps. And not only just new maps, but they're actually like colorful and exciting. I know a lot of people were not so high on the rig remake that they put in, all, all of it being gray. It doesn't bother me really, but we have Inquisition coming in. Which is going to be the midship remake? I mean, like it's Halo, it's Halo Two midship, man. Put that in ranked. People are going to go crazy for it. It's such high pace action. It's always fun to watch uh, a good old fashioned midship map. Heck, even with this map be coming into like the ranked settings, you could even see it be a you know ranked for, you know HCS style world championship style free for all playlist. Which I would love that personally. That would give me the play free for all. Uh, and then you also have the map of Fortress coming in here, which is just a totally different art style. I actually like it. It's a little bit more fun and playful with this, where like all the other maps are in for ranked or pretty serious looking maps, right? Nothing too wild or crazy or overly thematic or something. This one, you're literally fighting in ca uh, abandoned castles, but it's a cool vibe change. I like it. We'll see how it actually plays out. Again, this all comes out on January 5th for these guys to check out. But guys, that's not everything. There is a couple more things we need to talk about when it comes to this update. Specifically, we're going to be seeing some more information probably by the time you're watching this video. Uh, I'll be at work, but this live stream is happening for uh, three, Halo Studio. Sorry, not Halo uh, 343, but they're doing a live stream showcasing the great journey and also stick around for the Halloween infection play day as well. But the important thing is look at this picture right here. Again, you're thinking like, okay, this is the same weapon we saw for the teaser, right? The MA5K. It's a weapon that's a submachine gun, likely going to be like an actual weapon put in the Halo Infinite. Uh, like I talked about in my previous video, guys, that it's uh, in the, the game code of it being like an actual weapon, not just a weapon model like we've had previously with like the sentient sniper rifle, the classic Halo CE assault rifle as well. Like this is actually like looking to be a new addition to the sandbox year and a half later. Uh, but hey, at least it's something, right? But one thing I didn't notice at first, the armor set here. Look at this. This is the classic Halo 2 armor, which I didn't catch this at first until I read the comments. It is the Mark VI armor set, which gets me super excited and confirms the leaks that we talked about earlier here on the channel as well uh, from Halo Leaks talked about this back in August 9th, showcasing the Halo 2 Mark VI armor set for Halo Infinite, most likely an armor kit, which could be the case for myself in the customization just in that quick little image. But this would be awesome, again, to have like the classic 
Halo 2 armor set. This is one of my favorite armor sets is Halo 2's. I actually probably would say Halo Infinite is probably my favorite armor set, but you got the Halo 3, probably CE, then 2. I love 2's though. This looks amazing. They know how much money something like this will bring in for Halo Infinite. So this will probably be tied to the shop, probably $20 uh, US, uh, and however that transfers over to your currencies. Uh, so there is that to kind of take into consideration, which is kind of expected. And I don't know if, if I'll spend that kind of money, especially since I already bought the CE one, but that's just me. But I mean, you do, you boo boo. One thing I was actually kind of surprised by was the lack of Relic being showcased here. This is a map that we've been talking about for months now at this point. This was leaked out back in May. This is a Sparasoft made remake uh, that got leaked out. and. It looks like the at least the forging of it looks good. It's just that the art of it is not good, like at all. And I have a feeling that maybe the, when they got leaked out to the public, like Halo Studios definitely saw the reception from the community. It uh, was not good, <laughs> to say the least with that. So they probably figured a way to either scrap this map or delay it. Uh, man, I do know like, well, at least we do know that the maps that were showcased for the Great Journey Delta Arena playlist all were 4v4 focused. This map has been in a 4v4 playlist before, back in the Halo 2 days, but it was much more a big team battle map for sure. Um, so maybe, or this could just be in the works still, be added into like squad battle in a future update. This definitely going to get people excited because people love Relic, myself included as well. Uh, but there is also just a one little extra thing. Again, more details, because I'm all about that here, guys. Make sure you subscribe, of course, to get those details properly. Uh, but the last little detail I want to show you guys is don't forget, on the Master Chief Collection, there is going to be a massive, cool addition coming in for us on November 9th, the official uh, release date of Halo 2 back in 2004, was that the E3 2003 demo will be released for us to jump in and play. The classic, uh, no smoke and mirrors bullshit that we got from uh, Sergeant Johnson, even though a lot of it was, uh, well, smoke and mirrors after finding out, you know, a few years later. Uh, but this will actually be, be playable for us to jump in on the Master Chief Collection. It will not be releasing on consoles. Vel Vengeful Vadam did clarify this. He's the one that's been working on this. He's like the only guy that's been working on it for the dig site thing. So. It will make sense why it took so long for us to get to this point, but it is going to be playable, guys. Like the Halo 2 demo is going to be something you can play on the Master Chief Collection, which is just crazy to think about. As always, if you enjoyed this type of videos, like and subscribe is always appreciated. Miss any videos from me recently, like I was talking about here, check out these videos right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.